For this presentation is about finding the mean and variance of sampling distribution of sample means and we will make a general conclusions regarding the mean, the variance and the shape of the sampling distribution of sample means. And let's have the example. I consider a population consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Suppose sample size 2 are drawn from these populations. Describe the sampling distribution of the sample means. So we'll have the questions here. What is the mean and variance of sampling distribution of the sample mean? Another one, I'll compare these values to the mean and variance of the populations. Then draw the histogram of sampling distribution of the population mean. We'll have the step role in finding the mean and variance of sampling distribution. So we have here this step one, uh, compute the mean of the population and it is denoted the symbol and it could be read as mu. Our mu or the mean is equal to the summations of x over n. Our summation of x is a population consisting of five numbers, uh, one, two, three, and four, and five. Then our uh, mu is equal to, then get the sum and divide by the population consisting of five numbers. So we're going to divide by five. Then the mu or the mean of the population is equal to 15 over five. The, so the mean of the population is equal to three. For our step two, I'll compute the variance of the population, denote the, the symbol, and it could be read as sigma. How to find the variance of the populations? List down the population consisting of five numbers and represented by x, that is one, two, three, four, and five. So our mean of the population is three, and represented by mu is equal to three. Subtract this mean from the x and label this as x minus mu since our first number is 1 minus the mu 1 minus 3 that is negative 2 Th then our next number is 2 minus 3 that is negative 1 3 minus 3 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 5 minus 3 is 2 then uh, square the difference negative 2 uh, raised to 2 that would be negative 2 times negative 2 that is 4 negative 1 squared negative 1 times negative 1 that is 1 and 0 squared is 0 and 1 squared is 1 1 times 1 is 1 then 2 squared 2 times 2 is 4 Then get the sum of the uh, x minus uh, mu squared, that is 10. So the variance of the population represented by the sigma squared is equal to summation of quantity x minus mu squared over n. And this summation is equal to 10. Then the n or the numbers of the population, that is 5. Then 10 over 5, that is 2. So the variance of the population is 2. Step 3, uh, determine the number of possible samples of size n is equal to 2. Use the formula, what we call this as combinations. A beta letter n, c the subscript is small letter n, where n is equal to 5. Capital letter n is equal to 5, which is the number of populations and the small n, the sample size 2. So here's the method on how to solve the combination. Then this is uh, n factorial. To read this as n factorial over small n factorial, a quantity of n minus small n factorial. Our n, capital letter n, is 5 factorial, a small n is 2 factorial, and the quantity is 5 minus 2 factorial.
Let's simplify uh, 5 factorial over 2 factorial, then the quantity of uh, 5 minus 2, that is 3 factorial. Then write the 5 factorial from 5 down to 1, then multiply all the numbers. And the 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1, and 3, that is 3 to 1. Then uh, cancel uh, the same numbers in the numerator and denominator. Then we have the 5 times 4, that is 20, and 2 times 1, that is 2. Then 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So there are 10 possible samples of size 2 that can be drawn from this population. From the step 3, we had already determined the number of possible samples by using the combination that is equal to 10, the possible samples of size 2. So let's proceed to step 4, I'll list all the possible samples and their corresponding means. So this time we are going to use the table of values. So we have here the sample and the mean. To find the sample, the population population consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, the sample size of 2. So we have the pair numbers 1 and 2, next is 1 and 3, then 1 and 4, then next is 1 and 5, then for our 2, 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 5. Then 3 and 4, then 3 and 5, lastly is 4 and 5. So we have 10 possible samples of size 2. To find the mean of the sample, I get the sum of two numbers. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 divided by 2. Since we are adding the two numbers, so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. And 1 plus 3, that is 4 divide by 2 is equal to 2.00 then 1 plus 4 that is 5 divide by 2 is 2.5 so our method here get the sum of two numbers and divide by 2 so we have 10 possible samples and their corresponding means Step 5, uh, construct the sampling distribution of sample means. Sampling distribution of sample means consisting of sample mean or the x bar, the frequency, and prob probability p of x. To find the sample mean, so we're going to use the step 4, the table of values. Then we have here the mean. The first mean is 1.5, the frequency is 1. Then 2.0 is the frequency 1. Since we have 2, 2.5 here, right in the frequency 2. And 3, we have also 2. 3.0 is 2. And 3.5, we have also 2. 2 frequency and 4.0 is 1. And 4.5 is 1. Then the total of the frequency is 10. So the probability 1 over 10. Then next is 1 over 10, then 2 out of 10, 2 over 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 10, then get the sum of the probability or the P of X, then the summations of the probabilities 10 over 10 is equal to 1. For step 6, uh, compute the mean of the sampling distributions of the sample means. So we have here the table of values for the mean of the sampling distributions, the sample mean and the probability from our uh, step 5. So we had already the sample mean. Okay, we're going to rewrite for our step 6 and the probability a total of 1. So this time you're going to multiply the sample mean by the probability or the x times p of x. Okay, multiply 1.5 times 1 over 10. That is 0 0.15. 2 times 1 over 10. That is 0 0.20. 2.50 times 2 over 10. That is 0 0.50. Then uh, the rule here is get the product of the sample mean and probability. Then get the 
sum or add the x or the summations of x times p of x that is 3. So the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means or represented by mu sub x is equal to x times p of x. So the mean of the sampling distribution or the mu sub x is equal to 3. For our step 7, I compute the variance uh, that is really denoted as the sigma raised to 2 sub x. From our previous uh, step, step 6, so we had already the sample mean and probability. For our step 7, so we have another uh, rule to follow, subtract the population mean or denoted as mu from its sample mean that is presented by x or expressed as x minus mu. The mu is the mean of the population that is equal to 3 subtract this uh, population from its sample. So 1.5 minus 3 is negative 1.50. 2 uh, minus 3 is negative 1. 2.5 minus 3 that is uh, negative 0 0.50. T. The role here is subtract the population mean from its sample mean. Then I square the difference or the result. And this is labeled as the quantity of x minus mu raised to 2. The negative 1.5 squared that is equivalently to negative 1.5 times negative 1.5 that is 2.25 the negative 1 uh, squared that is 1 squared of negative, ne negative 0.50 that is 0 0.25 so the role here is squaring the x minus mu Okay, that would be the result for the quantity of x minus 2 raise x minus mu raised to 2. Then multiply the results uh, by the corresponding probability. The p of x times the quantity of x minus mu is squared. Then one, 1 over 10 uh, multiply 2.25. That is 0. 2 to 5 then 1 over 10 times 1 is 0 0.1 so the role here multiply the probability or the p of x by the quantity of x minus mu squared then uh, get the sum or add the summations of p of x times x minus mu squared then the total uh, 0 0.715 so the variance of sampling distribution of the sample mean is represented denoted as the sigma squared sub x is equal to the summation so p of x times the quantity of x minus mu squared is equal to 0 0.715 Our last step is step 8, uh, construct the histogram. The histogram consists of the x and y axis. For the y axis, the probability, uh, p of x, and the x axis, the sample mean. So we have here the table of the sample mean and probability. The sample mean, the values here, right, along the x axis. The 1.5, the 2.0, 2.5, 3, and 3.54 and 4.50. Then the probability, so we have only two numbers here, the 1 over 10, the so 1 over 10, and the 2 over 10. Then compare the x and y axis, the 1.5 against the probability. So here's the graph or the shaded region. And the 2.15, that is 2 over 10, and 3, uh, 2 over 10, and lastly, the 4 
0.5 that is 1 over 10 so ito yung ating uh, histogram of the sampling distributions of sample means so we have here the activity consider the population consisting of 1 to 5 suppose the sample size 3 are drawn from the populations